I'll do my best. Why do they keep you around? I'm sorry I'm late. Anything for the Bureau. I've got nothing more for you. My pleasure. That'll be all. Let me know if you need anything else. Don't let it go to your head. Thank you for giving me a chance. Are you sure you are not lost? Maybe you can find yourself in the director's office. Oh, great. I was just waiting for my mail. Just leave it on the desk there, please. <clears throat> please, take the outgoing mail as well. Thank you. Very good. Better run. I'm not me. I can't. Why can't I feel you? Oh, I've forgotten something. I can't think. Oh, I'm lost. Oh, where are you? I can't feel anything. I... I don't want to be alone here. You're late. Where am I? What is this? I want to end. Wake up, please. I want to go home. You 
a sort of keep trying. You are getting closer. I need to go inside. I need to keep moving. Nostalgia department. I'll turn it on. I'll bring the hiss in. I'll fix this. I can hear them plotting against me. We've been invaded, corrupted. I've lost Darling. He was the first to go. He's been exposed to Hedrin's resonance. It controls him now. It controls everyone who wears the amplifier device. I ordered them not to use the damn things. They didn't listen. Hedron corrupted the Bureau. They'll never be people again. They're either dead or they're monsters. I'll stop them. I have a secret ally. The Nostalgia Department. I have my own slide for the projector. I took it. A memento, in ordinary, after the girl burned them. It's burnt, but it'll work. The hiss will save us all. I, um, lost my train of thought. I, I, um, it, it's confused. Like, uh, somebody uh, switching channels too fast. I, I, I see so much, but it's, it's, it's too fast. On the expedition through the slide, something got into my ear, and it hurt at first. But then it didn't. It uh, started as a, a distant whisper, like something you hear in a, a dream. A faraway voice calling you to wake up. I'd open my eyes with those those words still on my lips. See, in the dream, they had made perfect sense, but awake, they're like a, like a foreign language, already forgotten. Then the sense of loss hits, like losing a child. Like losing yourself. You see, I was being taught a song, a poem, a prayer that would light up my world and, and make me break through, make all this pain worth it. Something once lost was found, and it made a home in me, a spring with like waves, carving, making me see. 
and it grew until it filled me. And I receded deeper into myself, into this office, locked in in this oldest house, which is my uh, aging body. I stared in awe through the people, and I was filled with knowledge and made better. You know, I uh, often feel like I'm <clears throat> being watched. Yeah, like there's someone watching me. They can see me, but I can't see them. I remember it was like, like this dream I had last night. See, there was, a, there was this man mm -hmm, here in this very room. And then well, sometimes he was a, a plumber unclogging the drain and well, because there was a fish stuck there. Yeah, a big fish. But sometimes he was, he was an old god, you see, and, and he had put the fish there in, in the, uh, the first place to, uh, well, to, to, to keep the waste. Th there was rising waste uh, from leaking out. So he was, um, oh, he was, he was conflicted, but he, but, but he knew many things, but he was, he was also sort of senile, like me. It, it was more like a, it was like a, a riddle or, or, or an omen, but it wasn't a very good one or, or an interesting one, but, but I, I get so confused so easily. Um, it, it, it's it's so very hard to uh, to follow every everything that's happening. I won't let them win. That's how it happened. The hiss got Trench first. He turned on the projector. He let them in. I have to remember the hiss. The hiss is the enemy. Burrowing in, I'm trapped in here. They're taking over. Fuck this shit! I am not your servant. I need to get to Trench's office. This is nonsense. It stops now. fight this. I will find a way to push them out. <laughs> Welcome back. I knew I chose a good assistant. <laughs> I need my gun. Redacted. 
for applause. We build you till nothing remains. The end cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are whole. You, you remind us of whole. You've taken your boss with you. Your boss with you. Air. Boss here means eat. Under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must pluck its wings to drag it away. And the soul, time for applause. This is cliche to death out of time. Breaking the first, the second, the third, the fourth wall, the fifth wall. The fifth floor, no floor, you fall. How do you say insane? This is my mess to clean up. My fight. No one else's. I am the director. Hello. This is Dr. Casper Darling. I have a classified message for the director of the Federal Bureau of control. I have sad news. Pedrin is gone now, but it was not a source. It was a catalyst. Do you understand? You must go to my office, the end game. It will be revealed. You, I can't. This is what Dylan wanted all along. But there is something I can feel it, but I don't know what. The motel is a place of power, of change, a place to pass through, connecting everything. This is a dream inside my head. Why shouldn't it take me anywhere I want to go?
This is so weird. But it is my head. You are such a weirdo. Grow brighter around one constant. They revolve. Hedron is dead, but you're alive here in me. Maybe Hedron put you in our heads when we met her. Maybe you were always there. And she was just trying to teach me how to trigger you. Maybe I'll never understand. Maybe I don't need to. Trench was the first to be corrupted by the Hiss. Slowly, over the years. His need for control only made it worse. It was Trench who took the projector to the nostalgia department. He opened the door to the Hiss. Just like that. With Hedron dead, the Hiss tried to corrupt me, too. But I'm stronger than them. We're stronger. They're waiting. They'll try to stop us. herself that she was awake. She's always been stubborn. I knew I had to end her dream. I had to wake her up. I had to rip down the poster she'd been staring at. Cut off her eyelids to make her see. To save her. somewhere locked inside I know because that's how it was for me
Dylan's in a coma. I don't know if there's anything of him left in there. If he'll ever find his way back. The portal's been closed, but the hiss is still in the oldest house. And the lockdown can't be lifted as long as any trace of it remains. I'm working on a solution with my management team, but there is still a long road ahead. I'm the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. We're in this together. You... ...and I. Shawshank Redemption. That's the name of the movie I was thinking of earlier. Not important, but that was it. Could survivors be hiding inside? 
It's possible. I remember a report. Jesse, good to see you. We've got Dylan situated in his containment cell like you asked. I've got medical staff running tests as we speak, and I'd be happy to walk you through the details later. Other than that, what's next? With the slide projector turned off, the hiss are shut out, but we're stuck with the ones already here. We can't lift the lockdown until they're all eradicated. If any hiss ever got out, that would be the end of everything. Well, eliminating them all will take time. Look, I'll do what I can on my end, but my research is progressing slower than I'd like. I think I can help with that. I am making you the head of research, effective immediately. I want you to use everything the Bureau has, every resource, every confidential scrap of data, and find a way to keep the hiss out for good. That's... really? I, I mean, yes, yes, I can certainly... Yes! <laughs> yes, I accept. You'll do great. Besides, I didn't really have anyone else lined up. I'm honored, Jesse, really. Thank you. Do you remember Mr. Tomasi, the head of communications? The hiss he was changed into showed up in containment, near the turntable. I'll take care of it. That thing's not getting away this time. I've heard reports about his particular use of language and intonation when repeating the his babbling. The biological and behavioral distinctions between different his corrupted individuals is truly fascinating. I wonder if I could categorize the data. And she's already off on her own thing. How do you feel about me taking over as director? You act like it just happened. You've been director since we first met, remember? I am still thrilled. Nothing's changed. Not for me. But the Bureau has changed. Trench and Darling are gone. Their knowledge, anything not written down, disappeared with them. They knew the Bureau better than anyone. They're the Bureau's past, Emily. We won't operate like they did. We'll learn from their mistakes. We'll be better than they ever were. We won't ever be like them. When the hiss got into my head, I saw some weird things. I think Darling even spoke to me. Does that make any sense to you? Well, empirically, no, but phantom voices as well as hallucinatory states are not uncommon here. And considering the forces that Dr. Darling was working with, he could have been transferred to a different plane of consciousness, physically or otherwise. And that doesn't upset you? Oh, very. And the fact that he hid those forces from me, it's infuriating. But Darling's dream was always to look beyond our reality. This time he may have taken a step too far, but as long as his consciousness can perceive his surroundings, I'm sure he's loving it. Maybe Darling was just trying to protect you from the darker side of his work. Fuck that. I'm not a child. Like, don't just assume I'm gonna consider something morally repugnant. Which it all was. Which it all was, of course. How was Dylan? The same. I, I can't detect any his activity, but his physiology has certainly been altered by it. And I can't tell if his brain activity is genuine or simply the aftermath of the hiss, like spasms. Dylan could wake up tomorrow for all I know. I really can't say. Then I just have to wait for him. That's fair. He waited a long time for me. Don't worry. We'll be monitoring him round the clock. If he wakes up, we'll be ready. I don't mean that in a hostile way, just... Well, you know. I hear you. My brother isn't exactly popular around here. I hope one day he'll have the chance to change that. So, there was a moment after Hedron died that I couldn't feel my powers. The hiss got into my head. Just for a moment. So 
that explains the HRA outage. Before we knew what was happening, the hiss had us. They were in my head. I saw terrible things. I mean, I was about to go under forever when the hiss was pushed back. The HRAs had come back on. Dylan vanished afterwards and we fought off the hiss that came after him. So if Hedron's death knocked out the HRAs, that means there must be a new local source for them to relay, which I'm guessing must be... Me. You. Hedron is dead, assuming that word even applies to a resonant-based life form. But whatever it awakened in you, the power you call Polaris, is still active. Or at least, that's what my instruments are telling me. I don't think we're ever gonna understand all of this. And I'm okay with that. I'm just glad you're here with me. That's good to know. Thanks, Emily. I found Dylan attacking the astral plane and the board. What was he hoping to accomplish? Huh. Since they arrived, his have been corrupting objects of power, which have an inherent link to the astral plane. Maybe their goal was to access the astral plane and the board itself. That still doesn't tell us why. His motives are a difficult thing to work out, but I have been digging through confidential files and noticed a strange gap in knowledge regarding the board. Looks like any data on them has either been deleted or was never gathered in the first place. Then maybe it's time someone looked into that. Maybe it is. Well, I've got a bureau to run. See you soon. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. Please, Emily. Not even as a joke. Where are the files on Parasitic Institute? I found a couple of copies. Yeah, I found a file on the old director, Northmore. It didn't list any date of death. Man, I never thought I'd be working in the executive sector. Look at me now, Ma. <laughs> so, what's next for Simon of Reich? Well, first off, I'm banning all slide projectors. That's it. <laughs> Seriously, though, we need to review our protocols. Research should not be making decisions that endanger the entire Bureau. But fuck it. The entire fucking world without some serious oversight. I think Pope would agree. Certain people in the Bureau have been working in the shadows for too long. And I'd like to make these HRAs part of the mandatory Bureau uniform. They're not stylish, but better safe than sorry. I don't think anyone will complain. Not after this. thoughts on me serving as director? <laughs> well, I couldn't be more excited. I mean, look, don't get me wrong, Trench was fine, but well, you pulled us back from the brink. So. Well, I'm honored to serve, man. I mean, fuck, shit. <laughs> Faden. Sorry. He'll get it one day. So, what's the situation in my bureau, Arish? The situation is we are still up to our eyes in hiss. Not to mention the months of repairs it's gonna take just to get this place up and running again. But is it doable? Of course it is. You just might need to tell some rangers to grab a wrench once they're done hunting hiss. Did anyone ever mention to you that Darling was using the slide projector? Well, Salvador never did, but um, I doubt he even knew. Look, I'm well aware that it's our job to study and contain the things that we don't understand, but well, some of the things that Darling did were way outside of our mission statement. Look, these things are not toys, and acting like they are is only ever going to end one way. At least Pope seems to understand that. Well, it's secure now. No one can reach it without my say-so. But thank Christ for that. Marshall's been missing for a while now. Any ideas where she could be? 
The last time I saw her was in maintenance when I was leading the Rangers out of the Atlas. Yeah, I told her it wasn't safe, but she said she had to go check on something. Did you ask where she was going? Whew, Marshall is not the kind of person you question. <laughs> kind of intimidating, you know? But, uh, she was by herself. That helps at all. Not really, but thanks. Hopefully she turns up. I'll see you later. You know where I'll be. Jesse Faden, director of the Federal Bureau of Control. I still don't quite believe it, but you always knew where we were headed. Even if it was a dream, I feel Darling reached out to me through the hotline. I have a feeling he and Trench won't be the only callers from the beyond. vacation spot. We need to check this out. Send a ranger to my location. Reinforcements are here!
Hartman won't be a problem anymore, Langston. But investigations need someone to run it. Interested? I've seen what happens to sector heads, ma'am. No, thank you. Ma'am, I'm getting something on my terminal here, an AWE alert from Bright Falls, Washington. But it might be a glitch. The date's all wrong a couple of years in the future. And we're in lockdown. There shouldn't be any incoming signals. Maybe it was active before we went into lockdown? Are there agents on site? Let me check. Agent Estevez is the field agent in charge of monitoring the site, so she should be there to let us know if the situation has been through any major changes recently.